What's good, man? MBS. What's good? MBS Central, MBS Universe. I'm your boy Keo. I got my co-host with me today. What's Yo. going on? What up, what up, man? We back, man. Infinite content, man. We are gonna keep dropping stuff. We got a lot of stuff to cover today, man. So yeah. what what we what we doing, man? <laughs> what we starting with? Is this a so, lot? It's a lot. So uh make sure you go check out the uh we we put our official predictions for Westworld, man. Shout out yeah, to yeah, 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 yeah. Well, shout out to Westworld. Yeah, shout out to G Will, Rum Nitty, the whole cap, ruin your day. The pay per view is free. Well, nothing better than that, man. On YouTube, on the Westworld YouTube page, make sure you go check it out. But um, with that being said, man, we got a lot to talk about. We're going to talk about the presidential debate that went down yesterday. We're going to talk about some sports with Bronny James getting drafted with the Lakers playing with his dad. Uh, which is going to make history. Uh, we're going to talk about, uh, and and obviously, of course, we're going to talk some but some battle we're at. But first off, we're going to talk about what's happening right now in the battle rap world. And it, this whole week has been invo involving RBE with everything going on. So more has been transpired that happened today. And... Um, it came out this morning that Battle Rapper Caution, who's no longer in the prick, she's still with RBE, from what I know. She was accused of having ghost riders, man. So mm. Angry Fans went live this morning, and people started talking about speaking. I think the first person was uh, Qua that speaks on it. He does his show uh, with Wing. And then later on, after that, about the battle rapper said Lux Dallas was like, yo, she has a ghost rider. So um, Anchor fans brought up Jay Breed. Jay Breed was like, yo, I've been ghost riding for her for two years, mm. including the tournament. Mm. Uh, that Damn, was you know, <clears throat> well, Peaches, Peaches came on and then she said it also. Yeah, we've been helping her ghost ride battles and then and, uh, one of the guys from the 1SK which is close to the bricks he came out and confirmed it also so it's like it's not just one person it's multiple people from the bricks are saying that and um, I talked to some people from the bricks and they basically said yo that's true so with that being said man what What's your thoughts on this right now? Because I seen J four hundred giving his thoughts on it. Easy went on there give his thoughts on it. Uh, Polo from Black Compass Media gave his thoughts on it. People saying the bricks should be canceled. What? what how you feel about this right now, man? Oh well, you know, I me, I'm not the person that get, gets into the. He said that, and she said this, and the the, the drama. Cause I know that as a as a battle rapper, that's one of the things you don't want on your name. You don't want that on your name. It follows you around the rest of your career, and it, it don't go away. It's always an angle. It's definitely gonna be a new angle, I think, going forward for um uh, seven five seven caution. But I don't know, like if the, if they didn't show like no a screenshot where they wrote it, then it's like. It's just like it's an accusation. This ain't she's not the first one being accused of having a writer. She won't be the last. You know, I've seen this shit for the last 12, 13 years, man. Um now again, if they come out with proof, it's bad. It's it's bad. Um, but as as of right now, that's just like it's just like you y'all just saying this shit. I I I'm not there, so I don't know. I'm not saying I'm not defending or you know what I'm saying. I'm just saying you when you say stuff like that, you gotta bring the proof out. You can't just say that. You can't just put that on somebody's name. That's that's not good. So um so I know has she is, come out and said anything? Has she no, said has she defended no. it? No, but her manager, uh, shout out to Joey Nine, by the way. Uh, her manager has came out and said, you know, that it's not true. Um, and um, 
obviously, you know, that that's that's the only thing that we we know as of right now. But you know, it seems like the culture is running with that, I guess you could say narrative. Right now, I can't say she has a ghostwriter. I can't say that. I, I just can't right now. Well, if 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 so you said Jay Breed said that, right? We just interviewed Jay, Jay Breed. Jay Breed okay. said that. Peaches said that. Power said that. Was they all writing for her, or was it just like Jay Breed? It was it was multiple people, a group of people. She came to them, and from what they said, they said she came, went to them and says, "Hey, I need help with these these bars." Uh, this is so. You, this you is just, a fine just, line. This is tricky, you man. Had, you just had a virtual battle with Caution, also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just battled her. I, yeah. Um. Like, okay. So for okay for so from this situation is, I can't go off of what was off of what somebody said even though i know that person's not lying but there's always two sides to every story um and when, she when, i don't i don't want to hear from her manager i want to hear from yeah. her yeah you yeah, know yeah. shout out to joey nine but you know i need her to go live and say hey either a okay yeah they helped me or they they're absolute liars and they're trying to because right now, with her no longer being a Brit, it's like the timing is suspicious. It's like, why why now? You know what I'm saying? She's not a Brit. She's no longer a part of their, their little group or whatever they was. And now it seems like the the, the accusations are, or is this like a, a character assassination? Or is it something deeper than this? Did she, I, did she say something to piss them off? Because if it is true, let's just say it is true. Let's say let's say they did uh, right for her. So why are they exposing uh, uh, it? Because okay, so okay, so I'm not gonna go detailed into it. So um some shit happened between um wing and caution. Uh so I guess caution told some information about wing. Mm. Um um oh. I guess I guess she told uh some people that was, you know, uh, part of the well, camp. Some, pers the same, some personal business. Yeah, it's the same camp. It went back to wing. Um, oh. and, and I think they they uh they lit her up on the spaces. Hey, look, day. man. Hey, look, man. Don't listen. <laughs> when somebody got the nuclear code, I always call it the launch codes. You know what I'm saying? We, <laughs> I always call it the launch code. When somebody has a launch codes on you, don't fuck with them. Cause they can press that button. They can put the they can put the code in, and the nuclear missile is launched. And then, from what I know from my sources, caution was supposed to be on this card, the Briggs versus Battle Academy. She should have been. She, once yeah. that information got was was when once that all that drama happened, she got removed from that card. And well, it wasn't that's a, true. And it was an ARP that removed her. See, well, if that part is true. Um, I'm gonna just say this: battle rappers gotta learn how to move within this culture, amongst themselves, amongst their the uh, the the bosses, the league owners, the people that are associated with the league. You gotta you gotta know how to just uh move like in terms of is relationships. That's really what it all boils down to. They always call it politics. It's no really no such thing. It's just about personal relationships and messy BS. And if you did something to somebody behind the scenes, don't think that they wasn't going to get back at you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to just leave it at that because I don't know what of, I don't know who said what to who. And I really don't even care because all of that, all of that could have been left alone because it was left alone. And I guess somebody was taking personal shots at somebody. Then they started hopping on the interviews. People started going on the blogs about it, and then boom, this is where we're at today. So, um, yeah, I don't know. For me, it seems like they want to end caution, and they want to take caution out uh, in battle rap. They want to end her career because it seems right now, I kind of feel like it does, in one side, it does seem like a personal issue with caution where they, they don't like caution. And they want to remove her out of there completely. 
But well, then, again, for somebody to do that, you had to have done something to them. Yeah. And then... On That's why I that, said, if it's true, then, why why are they telling? Why are they I, telling on I mean, me? I mean... I mean, did the, I mean, this could be like, hey, let's plan. Let's just all say that she has a ghost, right? It's to make it believable. But then if you whether say, it, but again, if you whether it's true or not, for them to all come out and say this, something had to have triggered this. Because if okay, if this was two years, okay, let's say Jay Bree said he'd been writing for her for two years, right? Why it didn't come out two years ago? Why didn't it's come out a year they ago? Were, they were, they were, why, cool, why, they were, why, cool then. they why, were friends then. <laughs> okay, so I don't know, man. I'm gonna leave it alone. I don't, I'm gonna just leave it alone because, again, without proof of that, it's just an accusation. Yeah, uh, again, why, you don't, you don't want nothing why, like that why, on your name. That's why that's, I, I know caution is gonna get mad at me, but I, for me, I'm just doing our job as media. I did put allegedly she was being accused. I didn't say she has ghost or I said allegedly she was accused. So I, I don't know. I don't know what it is, though. I can't go off of what they said because for, for me, based off of what I've been through, there's always two sides to every story when it comes to that. I want to hear from Caution, though. I want to hear from Caution. I want to see what she has to say. Yeah, man. Once, Because once, if as soon as Caution denies it, it's gonna go back to RBE and say, "Hey, we want the proof." Absolutely, you gotta be able to be. You have to be able okay. and be ready okay. to provide. Is that so? What proof. they're doing right now is that I've been in this situation. I've been in this situation before. Wait. For those Wait. that know, you know. Wait, what yeah. they're doing right now is that considered snitching? That's what I'm saying, bro. Like <laughs> I. I was in a situation not not with me, but with you know two other people, and they was like, "Well, Danny, if you're not gonna show the proof, shut the fuck up." I never showed the proof. I had the proof. I never showed it. You know what I'm saying? Because somebody else higher up gave me a call and was like, "Don't, don't, don't, don't drop that." You know what I'm saying? And it was a long, it was a long story, but I, I've I've been in this before, and that, and I know from personal experience. If you're going to say that, you got to show that. And in and, and, and the meanwhile, I ain't tripping on it. Um, if they do come out with something and say, hey, they go to absolute proof of what, what I wrote, blah, blah, blah. Then, OK, that's a whole different story. And we got to And then we got to we'll, we'll, we'll do what we got to do then. If that day ever comes, if that day never come, this is just an accusation. But I will say this it's definitely going to be a new angle. Yeah, it will be a new angle. Uh, I think, I think, I think caution needs um <clears throat> address it soon, just to clear the thing. Because the more she holds off and not say anything, it kind of, it kind of look, look, yeah, it, yeah, it look, it look crazy. Like if you don't say nothing, it make it look like it's true. Yeah. If you don't defend it yourself, yeah. But, but I, uh, I don't know. That's what people have managers for. What you know? That's why people uh, have managers and and PR and. Public relations people to hey y'all handle that for me. I'm gonna chill, sit back, and be in my house. I'm turning my phone off. I'm turning off my notifications because my my text messages is blowing up. My inbox is blowing up. This shit is stressful. Y'all deal with this. That's what I pay y'all to do. So hey, she handle this right. however she want to handle it. All right, let's move on over to the next topic, man. But shout out to caution the bricks and everybody involved. Hopefully everything works out the way it should be.